going guys uh, just uh, real quick I just want to uh, say thank you for all the support um, friends and family and everybody out there my wife has cancer I've been treating for the last uh, three months this is the end of her treatment and it's gonna be uh, about a month wait maybe longer maybe three months is what they're saying uh, before we find out if the treatment has worked and has got rid of it the cancer but I just wanted to thank everybody for their support uh, especially friends and family that are close to us because they have really helped us out in this tough time um, and you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year How's it going everyone? Uh, this is Rob with Pig Acres and today the X-Ray is going to get crossover steering upgrade. Long overdue. Uh, it's got Heim joints since uh, 5 eighths. So I'll be right back and I'm going to start taking the old nasty geometry out of here. I can't really see much. Turn the light on for you. Well, will get rid of those ball joints. It'll be all Heim now. So definitely a lot beefier upgrade. I'll be right back. Go for a stop recording. Come on. There we go. Oh, lots of pins to take out. And I think this crossover steering actually eliminates the stabilizer, but uh, I know there's a bracket I can get in order to mount it, so we will have to see how far we get. Stop parts. Get rid of stop parts. One bolt. So basically, you have to uh, remove all these ball joint ends. And now, the spindles you have to drill them out 5 eighths for the new Heim joints for the crossover. So we'll see exactly how hard this is going to be. We just replaced these not too long ago. Oh, they wear out so quick. Jeep is lifted like four inches. And these are all stock parts, and this is how it was when I bought it. And then there's a little lower here, and then shocks and springs pretty much is the lift kit, and then sway bar links are ultra long. But let's see here, I got those out, got to do the shock still, and then the bolt on the pitman arm. And I'll be right back when I start getting ready to drill. One hit and they all just popped out, which is pretty odd. We tightened them pretty good. But it's only been like, I don't know, 200 miles on it. Maybe a little more than that. I guess it was time to retighten anyway. Easy, easy peasy. So I started drilling out 
spindle here. And the drill bit I was, or the drill I was using, the trigger stuck, almost broke my wrist, I snapped off my 5 8 brand new drill bit. So yeah, so now I wait for my neighbor to get back, so hopefully he has another 5 8 uh, drill bit and a drill is not going to try killing me. So right now I am working on the other part, which is the new beefy track bar with bracket. I got the top two bolts. Well, it's like a, they're bolts, but not a weird thing. I don't know if you can see because of the glare, but this is the whole bracket that gets replaced for the new track bar. So I'll keep working on that, get the remaining two bolts out. And uh, yeah, try not to kill myself in the process. See you in a bit. All right, for comparison's sake, this is the old stock track bar mount that goes in the frame. And that's the new Rough Country one. And you can see it drops it probably like three inches, which should be perfect and keep everything aligned. Got the new forged track bar in. I just gotta put the mount on this side. I can go back to the actual stock location again, which is good. And there is an actual adjustment on this track bar, which is great. In case I want to go to a bigger lift later on. But this is for four to six inches, so I think I should be good. And let me get this uh, bracket up in there. And the new bracket is in. Just gotta tighten some bolts, sorry, the shadow here. It is pretty beefy. A lot, a lot stronger than the old one. Okay, a little update. This is where we're at. We've got the new track bar in. See, now it no longer has a ball joint, it's got a bushing. So, hopefully, that doesn't go out as easily as a forged track bar. It's pretty damn beefy. It's actually got an adjustment on it. I do ha have one spindle drilled out for the crossover steering where the heim joints are only snug to bolt. It's one of those uh, nylon threaded ones. So, just trying to get stuff lined up. I still have that side to do to drill out and then the pitman arm, which yeah, it's working on it, work in progress. So, be back in a second. Crossover complete. Oh, that was a pain in the ass. I broke too many drill bits, but that's how it looks. It's got the billet heim joints on the ends there. So Ball joints, got a brand new beefy forge track bar with the track bar drop. I do have to do a pit and arm drop, but right now that's how she sits. And I'll let you guys know how she drives. Till next time.